For those of you who decided to quit social media in 2020 because of how toxic and depressing it is, and you actually wanted to go out and live life to the fullest, Welcome back, we missed you. Today I'm gonna be talking about things I've realized during this quarantine. So let's get right into the video. Firstly, I've realized I spend way too much money on things I don't need. For example, Pizza Hut. Pizza Hut has stolen thousands from me. Literally thousands. And truth be told, when things get back to normal, Pizza Hut is going to keep taking thousands from me because I'm a creature of habit. And since I like to play the victim, I keep saying they stole it or they took it from me. Meanwhile, in reality, I am literally taking my money and shoving it down their CEO's throat. One thing that we're all actually going to realize after this whole lockdown is finished is, um, anime timescapes are actually real. Not for me though. I'm definitely going to come out of this lockdown looking exactly the same or skinnier. Definitely a lot hairier because I'm an African black man and for some reason my hair decides to keep growing, no matter what, like I just keep growing hair. I guess at some point Central Africa was a frozen wasteland and you needed those genes to be able to survive the cold temperatures, but hey. But I'm guessing that the gene was like, you know what, let me just resurface again in this nigga. I know it's been hot as hell for a while and he definitely doesn't live in a place that's cold enough to the point where, you know, he's gonna need all this hair. But fuck it man, let me just give it to him, like he's gonna appreciate it or not, I don't care, I'm his genes. He's gonna learn to love me because I'm his body and I have a feeling body positivity is gonna be a thing in the future. Okay, but back on topic, I'm sure some people are actually going to do the workout thing at home because of all the toilet paper they bought, and there are complete in-depth videos on how to work out with just toilet paper. I mean, I'm telling you, with this whole workout thing, simps are going to become chads, lizzos are going to stay lizzos because a lizzo literally has the perfect body, and anyone who thinks otherwise is a fucking body shamer, and they really do need to go to hell. Another thing that's gonna happen is that rice gum is going to become relevant again, I don't know how this all ties into the whole working out thing, but my prophecies always come true, except for 2020 being my year because <laughs> I was definitely wrong on that one. Or maybe, we never know, because you know, the year isn't really over yet. Next up, sports. We don't need sports, and after this whole lockdown, we are all going to realize we do not need sports. We don't need to see grown men and women playing with balls. I mean, for God's sake, think of the children. We also don't need people hating each other just because they don't support the same colored shirt. I mean, now that I think about it, and if you guys really think about it, if I remove the word shirt and put people, boom, racism. Thank God for esports. We still have entertainment because of esports. Okay, but high key though, we really do need the NBA back because I am tired of seeing Draymond Green kick the exact same set of nuts over and over again. Like, he really needs some new victims. Day in the life, YouTubers. They're gonna realize that putting the word quarantine in their title doesn't make the content any different. I'm already telling you guys, the next big thing is gonna be day in the life of a college student, after quarantine, day in the life of a software intern, after quarantine. Truth be told, day in the life YouTubers are just basically, truth be told, day in the life YouTubers are basically just fancy, truth be told, fuck, fuck, fuck. Truth be told, day in the life YouTubers are just fancy vloggers who don't wanna post as often. You're probably asking, yo, why all the beef and why all the hate for like, for day in the life YouTubers, man? Like they're just doing their hustle, you know? Just trying to make a living out here in this cold, hard world. It's because I'm a recovering addict. My feed was literally filled with college students and interns. I watched day in the life YouTubers when I got up. I watched them in the background while I slept. I drew the line when I started watching them in the shower. I felt like, okay, this might be a problem I have. The next one's a bit specific, but um, we need to all realize that providing slow internet should be illegal. I ain't gonna say no names, but in South Africa, there's an internet provider whose name rhymes with welcome, and it has data coverage only acceptable in 10,000 BCE. First world countries, y'all might probably not suffer from this as much, but if you ever come to a second or third world country, just know it's gonna take some getting used to, unless you're willing to throw racks on racks towards your internet bill. And yes, I am low-key flexing my broke boy status at all of you. Let me go off topic for a while because I haven't already done that already. I'm really gonna feel sorry for the stoner community because after this whole lockdown thing, the sacred tradition of sharing J's isn't gonna happen for a while. I already thought it was completely unhygienic, but that was just my germophobic ass talking. With this sacred tradition gone from the community, there is literally nothing separating them from meth addicts. Speaking of smoking, in other news, a local shopkeeper murdered for refusing to sell customer cigarettes. South Africa is undefeated. A customer allegedly stabbed two shopkeepers for refusing to sell him cigarettes. He's been arrested for the murder of one and the attempted murder of the other because he stabbed him in the fucking throat. Let me just give some context. So during this whole lockdown period in South Africa, you are not allowed to sell alcohol and cigarettes. It's completely prohibited. So this person clearly missed the memo. This is the kind of senseless violence that we really don't need. This is the reason why I don't smoke tobacco, because knowing me, this is definitely the kind of lens I would go to to get my fixed. I mean, shit, I would definitely kick a dog, I would laugh at disabled people, I would start a TikTok, I would join a bloodthirsty satanic cult. Y'all call it addiction, I call it loyalty. Just kidding guys, I will never start a TikTok, ever. <laughs> but back to the article. 
This is just the kind of senseless violence we really don't need in this world. I mean, at the most, he could have just punched the storekeeper in the throat, grabbed the cigarettes, thrown his money at the shopkeeper, and just ran straight out there. My heart really goes out to the shopkeeper's loved ones because, bro, they're already going through this whole corona BS, and no one deserves to go through this all on top of that. I hope the guy is sentenced to prison for a long time and gets the help he needs because there's definitely some mental issues under that whole carbon based life form, and it really needs to get fixed. While we're on the topic of South Africa, it's had a slew of whack ass presidents and usually I don't really talk about politics that much. Definitely not on YouTube and definitely not in real life because um, yeah, I'm completely uneducated in terms of politics. But I will say that we got ourselves a really good president right now because if it was the past presidents who were running the country during this whole mess, yeah, South Africa would be dead. Everyone in South Africa would be dead. You guys would not be getting this video. Cyril, you're doing a good job. Big ups, my G. He's probably going through the most stress any South African president has ever gone through. Don't at me. Nelson Mandela doesn't count because, yeah, it's Nelson Mandela, bro. Like, you can't compare gods to men. Okay, but let's end this on a good note. Rick and Morty comes back May 3rd. Praise Jesus. Dan Hartman and Justin Rowland. These people need to actually be worshipped. Like, you deserve worship for your creations. But yeah, it's been your boy, Freaky. Peace.